Hey folks, Ben here, Whirly Bird Video Productions, doing another short video. This is an this is another tutorial type instructional video, kind of entitled LiPo 101. So it's a little bit about the introduction into LiPo batteries uh, and different chemistries of batteries, because I actually have a life battery up here, and I just kind of wanted to talk about that for a second. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is the battery chemistry. So every single one of these up here are LiPo batteries except for one. And you know, if you look at, uh, let's just say this one, and you look at this one, and if you've done like I did and put Velcro over top of where the actual thing that said what battery chemistry it is, you know, the good parts, it's definitely a different color. I know that this is a life battery. Uh, other few telling things are these little uh, connections that go to receivers. But at any rate, this is a life battery. This is a LiPo battery. They look a lot the same. So make sure you got the chemistry that you're talking about. Uh, when you're charging so you know if your battery is charging a lipo don't connect the life up to it or you'll overcharge the life life will cause problems and definitely will damage the life battery uh, and this is life l-i-f-e these are l-i-p-o's lipos so different a uh, couple different brands and a couple different sizes that i got up here and i just kind of show you a little bit about the differences in how to charge batteries uh, properly discharge batteries and store batteries so what do we charge the batteries at? I get that question all the time at the field. You know, what do I charge my LiPo at? Well, you know, rule of thumb is one times the cell capacity, you know, so you can go from that. But if you look at your label, generally on the label from a good company, you know, this, this label here uh, is from a company that I have no idea who they are. Bought this for real cheap somewhere to swap me. It's a 20C battery, 11.1 volts. I've had this thing forever. It still works fine. It was a El Cheapo then, still El Cheapo now. It's probably more like a 10C than a 20C, but at any rate, uh, you know, pay attention to what it says on your labels. When you buy the batteries, they'll tell you. Uh, <clears throat> this is a high discharge LiPo battery and high charge battery. Uh, this is the Nanotech 1300 milliamp, uh, 45 to 90C, 1300 milliamp. So, one times the cell capacity would be 1.3 amps. You could charge this battery at three cell LiPo. So, you'd set your charge at three cell LiPo at 1.3 amps. That's one times the cell capacity. Now, this particular battery, you can go way up on your charger. And unfortunately, I put the sticker on there too, but if I remember correctly, it was five times or even ten times the cell capacity. Now, I really wouldn't charge that high because I like my batteries to last, but I would have no problem charging this battery at, say, three amps, and it would be fine. So, you know, that's definitely more than one times the cell capacity, but it's nowhere near the ten maximum. So this is another Nanotech. This is a six cell 4000, and I didn't put the label on it. It actually says 10 cell, uh, 10 C uh, max charge. So that means you can charge this battery at ten times the cell capacity. Now this is 4,000 milliamp. That means you could stick 40 amps back into this thing. Now, if you've got a charger that can do that, if you go back to that watt calculations and calculate that, soon figure out that's gonna take a pretty good sized charger to stick 40 amps back in this thing. Uh, it's gonna be really hard on this battery, I think, to put 40 amps back in it, but uh, you know, it, it says it could take it, so you know, I would definitely watch it. Again, it goes back to that observation thing in the other video. Make sure you're watching your batteries when you charge them. Uh, this is a, a Turnigy, so same company that makes this. This is their lower end, but it's the match sale. It's not a B or anything. It's a, a 20 to 30 C LiPo, and I was using this in a 700 sized helicopter, so I actually had two of them. So I was going up to 44 uh, volts. So at 20, tw you know, 20 Cs were fine for that thing because your amp draw across that 44 volts is a lot less than, than what you would need. So, you know, you could charge this battery at one times the cell capacity, you know, you could charge this at five amps. So you can see 5.0, that right there is a 5,000 milliamp, five amp hour, so charge it at five amps. So, you know, if you, you go to charge or do it, you'll set it to six cells and charge it five amps at one times the cell capacity. This particular battery says, do not exceed one times the cell capacity for the charge rate. Now, we'll tell you I've charged this battery at, uh, you know, 7 amps, and, it, and it's fine. Uh, I don't recommend that. So, you know, for legal disclosure and all that stuff, don't do anything different than what your mother says. Uh, like, uh, here's another Turnigy, uh, uh, 3,000 milliamp, uh, three cells. This is a 30 to 40 C, and uh, it said right on the back here you can charge this at 2 C. So, uh, you could go to 6 amps on this one. 
So uh, we've talked about the charge amps. Now, what's your discharge? You know, I, I mentioned this one says it's high discharge. So the discharge rating is where it says 4590. So it's 45C. So 45 times the cell capacity is what they say you can pull out of this all the time and not hurt the battery. That's max. So if you times 45 times 4, that's going to get you how many amps you can pull out of this thing, right? Same with your 1300s. Uh, your, your discharge on this one, this is a 45 to 90 C also. So this is in the same category, high discharge as the big one there. So you could discharge this thing at 45 times the seal capacity and supposedly not hurt the battery and make it. But, you know, uh, if you're pulling more than 30 amps out of this, you probably need a much bigger battery. But uh, at any rate, most of the time you're going to be flying this somewhere around 15 to 20 amps at the max. Uh, more like 10 most likely in this, this size of a battery. But uh, that's the, so that's your difference between charge rate and discharge rate. Look on your battery and that can tell you. It goes back to, you know, same way as you charge. It's, they're talking about cell capacities. So uh, pay attention to your C ratings for discharge and charge. And that's how to calculate uh, what you need to charge and discharge them at. Next time, talk about storage. Winter's coming up. Uh, I'm not going to be out there flying. My fingers get whole, cold and I don't like to stand out there. So uh, what I'll do is I put these all on the charger and there's a charge mode called storage on most uh, battery chargers. And you'll go to storage and it'll actually pull down or charge up to 3.8 something volts per cell. So you're going to have some life in the battery, but it's not going to be fully charged. And they recommend doing that for a long period of time over storage. So go ahead and charge your batteries and do that storage charge when you're ready to put it up for winter. So how do you store them once you've got them storage charged? It's all about storage. We've got some lipo safe bags here. Got this from Hobby King. Uh, you can buy a bunch of these when you've got some extra weight. And uh, if you buy them alone and pay for shipping, you might as well buy them over here because uh, the shipping is crazy on one lipo sack. Uh, but at any rate, these lipo sacks are... Uh, fire retardant and fire resistant so you know you just put your batteries in here and uh, seal them up and, and charge them and you're ready to go uh, I generally I put my three cells in certain bags and even milliamps I've got seven or eight of these so I kind of keep light batteries together my six cells I tend to try to stick them uh, in their own sacks or at least you know I may have two of these in one sack uh, and then I take these sacks and, and, and these lipo sacks fold them up and put them down in uh, army surplus cans you can get the uh, I like the 50 caliber belt fed boxes because they're a little wider so it's a 50 caliber round that's belt fed and the uh, the box size for that ammo can it makes a really good size for these to, to fold up and fit right down in there actually they could just about like that and they fold up and they fit right down in there and you can stick several of these bags down in there uh, that's three or four bags anyway uh, and then seal them up. If you have a problem in one bag, hopefully it'll stay contained, but you know, you do risk storing all of them in one container. So uh, be safe out there when you're uh, messing with LiPo batteries. I keep talking about that. There's, you know, been lots of reports of LiPos catching on fire and if you treat them right. I haven't had any problems out of batteries if you treat them correctly and, and, and be nice to them. Uh, so that's all about uh, C ratings, charge ratings, discharge ratings. If you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comments. I'll try my best to get them answered for you. Uh, hopefully I didn't say anything wrong. I'm still fighting this cold and, and talking as fast as I can between coughing. So uh, uh, hopefully uh, that'll help you guys know a little bit more about charging, discharging, and what that C rating actually means on charge and discharge. Thanks a lot for watching. Give me a big thumbs up. Please rate and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Whirly Bird Video Productions.